today I'm going to be making chocolate chip cheesecake bites and the first step is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees which I already started. Next up, I don't have a mixing bowl so we're going to have to use this Bruh. to make this work. I got to mix cream cheese. I love cream cheese. Mm. The entire 8 ounces of this we need. I need scissors. I've made this before, but only a couple of times. And it was good every time. Okay. We need half a cup of sugar. We're just gonna pour it in here like this. <laughs> oh, maybe this is a bad idea. Well, we're gonna do it anyway. Okay, that's good enough. Cream cheese, half a cup of sugar, and one egg. Hey! Gotta wash my hands again. Also, don't have a whisk, so we're gonna have to use this fork too. Bruh. So it's not really convenient. Now I had the cream cheese sitting out to room temperature, so it's softer. This is one of my favorite desserts ever. Okay, good enough. Next up, I'm gonna just grease this pan. Oh my god, that was a lot. Next up, cookie dough. So we need a roll of chocolate chip cookie dough and I'm gonna cut it in half. It says to not eat the raw cookie dough, but I always do a little bit. So half of the cookie dough, you spray it on the bottom of this pan here, and then you're gonna layer it with this mix right here, and then the other half of the cookie dough goes on top. We need the flour to flour our hands so the cookie dough doesn't stick to our hands. That should be good. are clean. I washed them already. And then I'm going to get the cookie dough out of here. And we're just going to flatten it until it covers the bottom of the pan. And it might not look like it'll cover the pan, but it will. This is an 8 or 9 inch pan. I'm not sure which one, but one of those sizes you need. It'll look something like that. And we're gonna pour this in here. The entire thing. some flour in my hands again. Now in order to put this on the top, you have to do it in chunks. So you just take like little chunks like this in your hand and then just like place it on top. You can't flatten it like you did the bottom layer. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if I can turn it too much. Oh no, it's sliding. That's what it looks like. Now it's gonna go in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes.
All right, so after it's done in the oven, you have to let it cool down for 30 minutes and then refrigerate it for two hours. And this is what it looks like. What if I just, what if it just fell out? <laughs> no, but so now I'm gonna cut this and put it on a plate. So I just cut it into a grid. And I also just got crumbs on the counter. We do gotta do a taste test. Mmm, so good. 10 out of 10.